Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm. We are back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about the top five most frequently asked questions about the brooder process. We are gonna talk about heat, space, length of time, the time that they're in the brooder. We're gonna talk about feed and water, and we're gonna talk about troubleshooting. Now before I do that, check out our YouTube channel at My Shire Farm, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for notifications on future videos. While you're on the main page, check out our playlist section. We have done two playlists so far. The first one is new to quail and what you need to know. The second one is the hatching process that we just finished. So now that the chicks have hatched, they're in the brooder, and we're gonna talk about the top five most frequently asked questions about the brooder process. So here we go. Number one, heat. Well, they can be too hot, they can be too cold, or they can be just right. We're gonna help you find that right spot. There's two ways to do it. Number one, the day you put them in there, it should be 99 degrees, and then it decreases a half a degree every day after that. The second option is what we do, and we let the Caternix quail tell us what they want. And here's how we do it. So if the heat source is here and they're right underneath it, it's because they're way too cold. So you need to increase the temperature. Now, if the heat source is here and they're all the way to the side trying to get away from it, it's because they're too hot. So you need to decrease the temperature. The third is what you wanna see. And that's if the heat source is here and they're very active and spread everywhere. They're telling you that they are happy, healthy, and just right. The second most frequently asked question is space. I get a lot of questions about the measurements of our brooder. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you the main tip that you need to know about your brooder. It's six quail per square foot is what we recommend. So it doesn't matter if you go to the dollar store and buy a tote, or if you build a brooder that's a three by two, or you build a brooder that's a 10 by 10, it doesn't matter. We recommend six quail per square foot. Now the third most frequently asked question ties right into that, and that's the length of time. We keep our quail in the brooder for three weeks, and there's one major reason why. Because at three weeks, they're getting large enough that the square feet needs to change. So the first three weeks, it's six quail per square foot. After that, we move them to a grower pen, and then we change that to three and a half, half quail per square foot because they're getting larger, they're not too far off from becoming sexually mature, and things like that. So, the first three weeks, it's six quail per square foot. After that, we recommend three and a half quail per square foot, and that's why we tell you, you should only have them in the brooder for three weeks. The fourth most frequently asked question is feed and water. Water is pretty simple. Make sure they have water at all times. However, here's two tips that might make them a little bit happier and healthier. Number one, they love to scuba dive for about the first week. Here's the thing, they don't know how. So, we recommend you putting pebbles or rocks in the water so that it's shallow enough where they can't go scuba diving because it doesn't work out for them or you. The second tip is you want the water source to be fairly close to the heat source so that they're not traveling too far away, but you don't want it too close. So we recommend about seven to nine inches away from the heat source. The feed, feed's a little bit different. We use a starter grower crumble for Caternix quail. Now I understand that a lot of people might not be able to find a Caternix quail feed. Now you can check out our supplier, which is Front View Feeds. You can Google them, they're on Facebook. If that's not available to you in your area, anything would work with a high protein. You want between a 25 to 30% protein crumble starter grower for the first 10 weeks. So that's what you need to be feeding them. 
So if you can't find a game bird or you can't find a Caternix quail, a turkey starter would, would work just fine. It all depends on what's available in your area. But the main thing you're looking for in your brooder process is a 25 to 30 percent protein. Okay? Now the last most frequently asked question is troubleshooting. I hear two things from a lot of people. One is they have balls on their feet. Two, their feathers are coming out. I'm going to give you some tips on why that would happen. Usually, if balls are on their feet, it's because it's a bedding brooder, okay? So you can either have a, a brooder that's a, a bedding on, a, at the bottom, or you can have a wire brooder. Typically, you don't find the balls on their feet with a wire brooder. But with the bedding, you can, because they like to use the restroom, and they like to spill the water, and they like to eat, and all that in the same spot. So then it gets moist, it gets on their foot, it clumps up around it, and then it stays there. So we, when we were using bedding, we would change out the bedding every week and a half. So if they're only in the brooder for three weeks, you need to be changing the bedding twice. That should help you with their feet issue. Now, the lack of feathers or their back feathers coming out. Usually, it's because they're way too hot. And that could be one of two things. One, it could be your temperature is off, so go back to the heat section of this and make sure they're looking okay. The second is they might be overgrowing way too fast, which is fine, except for that square foot needs to change fast because now they're overcrowded. So you have to make sure which one's which. So again, the best thing to do about the brooder process is keep an eye on your Caternix quail multiple times a day and let them tell you what they want. So if it's Jumbo Wilds, you might not want to keep them in there for three weeks. You might keep them in there for two and a half weeks. They're going to have to tell you that. Okay? So the top five most frequently asked questions about the brooder process is heat, space, length of time, feed and water, and the two troubleshootings. I hope that helped. Stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell because I've got a lot of great videos coming your way. Check us out on our website, myshirefarm.com. And remember, every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on our YouTube channel, I go live for a live Q&A every week to help answer any questions that you might have. So I hope to see you there. Thanks and stay safe.